Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Dead Angle. And this was created by Seibu Kaihatsu in 1988 and uh, distributed in the U.S. by uh, Fabtech. But this was suggested by YouTube user AceRay24. And yes, I'm back to uh, requests. So if you got any, uh, go ahead and lay them on me. I've got a bunch I'm going to try to get to uh, right now. And this is one of them. This is uh, not quite a rail shooter. It is a first-person perspective uh, shooter. Uh, rail shooters, I think, generally just mean the screens mean that the screen moves. Uh, you can you control the movement of the screen, and uh, this takes place in like 1930s America during like the gangster era, and you are like a Elliot Ness type of guy trying to take out take down various crime families. And uh, the scenarios uh, include uh, Italy, Napoli, and uh, New York, uh, Kansas City, uh, Chicago, and the final area is facing the uh, mob boss. And it's sort of like Operation Wolf, except, like I said, it's not really a rail shooter. The screen doesn't move around uh, without your consent. <laughs> you control uh, the crosshairs and that moves the screen around. Now you can uh, shoot these red guys, these guys in red coats, and they will give you uh, weapon power-ups. You can go all over the screen. Um, this is the scenario in the street. <laughs> shoot them mm, and get the extra power. Now this guy can give you grenades, and you have grenades as a secondary weapon, or it can give you uh, uh, a shotgun, or a, a, or a rapid fire. Now uh, if you shoot the uh, crosshairs will automatically move up a little bit. They'll jerk up as you shoot, and that's really annoying. I don't care for this game too much. I'd never seen it in arcades. Um, we'll go ahead and get started. You get an extra life at 30,000 and 100,000. So we start out in Napoli. And this gal gets uh, kidnapped. And I guess that's your girlfriend or something. You can get uh, meta packs from from certain uh, objects like barrels or crates that you can shoot. Here in the first stage, it's a good idea to stay behind this car and try to uh, try to get behind uh, uh, parts of the car that are hard for the enemy to shoot around to get to you. Once in a while, enemies will lob grenades at you and. Uh, those grenades take off a humongous chunk of your life bar. Now it looks like with the the life bar, like maybe every shot that the enemy hits you with might not take off a lot, but it does. <laughs> and you have to constantly move around. Even if you sit still, the enemy will often miss you when they shoot at you, but don't take that chance. There will be some enemies that dive. They'll roll. Yeah, see, I lost a big chunk of life. Uh, like I said, getting hit by those grenades really takes off a big chunk of your life. You can shoot the grenades in mid-air, and all the grenades that you shot in mid-air you will get a bonus for at the end of the level. Now, where it says enemy, the green bar, once you whittle that down to nothing, and there I got a uh, rapid fire uh, shot or machine gun. Once you, that enemy meter runs out, then you will face a boss, and the screen will force you over to the boss, and I lost a life. You will get three lives to start with, and like I said, you can get another at 30,000 or 100,000. 
using grenades, if you can save your grenades for the boss, you can end that fight real quick. But yeah, with your regular shot, you have to keep pressing the fire button. You can't hold it down, it won't be rapid fire. And now this second half of the level... There, I got a shotgun. There's a shotgun with a wider blast range than your regular shot. Of course, the uh, special weapons are limited in, uh, in uh, ammunition. And when it's out, you just go back to your regular shot. But now we're on a, uh, a yacht here. God, it's, it's hard to uh, hit your targets sometimes. Very frustrating game at times. I, I'm not a fan of this. But um, this yacht is en route to uh, New York. And so Napoli consists of a street scenario and a boat scenario. When we get to New York, that consists of a port scenario and a hotel scenario. And the third, the third stage and the last stage only consist of one scenario each. The rest are all two scenarios. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this game. Um, oops, shit, I got hit by that grenade. That really does hurt. I like the uh, attention to detail. There's the red guy you shoot for the uh, uh, weapon power up, and now I got the machine gun. And you can see the bullet. Ah, oh, crap. You can see the bullet amount for the uh, special weapon. I've never seen this in arcades. I don't. I don't really care for it. I'd rather go with just Operation Wolf. Uh, there, I can get uh, extra grenades. But yeah, once you complete a stage, uh, if you were able to shoot a uh, crate or barrel or whatever to get a money bag to appear and then shot the money bag, oh crap, then um, you can get a bonus for that at the end of the, the stage. And you will also get a bonus for any grenades that you shot. Ah, uh, trouble. Oh, sweet. I had enough grenades to uh, lay waste to that guy. Hey, is he still around? Where the hell is he? Sometimes there will be a boss that will appear at the other end of a level or somewhere else on the level. God damn it, he killed me. Let's try that again. And that's really annoying when you lose track of the uh, boss and they appear somewhere else on the level that you can't see. And now we go from Europe to America, and we're in New York. It says the name of the uh, family that you need to take down, and this is the Salvatore family. And here on this uh, dock stage, you can shoot the crates, and you might be able to get something from there. And anytime it says POW, then that is the direction of the red trench-coated guy that can, uh... Jeez! They wipe out your energy. But, uh, when it says POW, that is the direction of the, uh, red trench-coated guy that can give you, uh, a weapon power-up when you kill him. You gotta put in a lot of, uh, initials for your name. Just put in Russell. I neglected to continue right here, but... As long as you have credits, you can keep on continuing right where you picked up, or right where you left off. And we will look at <laughs> we will look at the uh, remainder, uh, the remaining levels. We will uh, skip parts of them and like cut to the boss. But again, any grenades that you shot will uh, and look how fast they come now. Will. Uh, uh, give you a bonus uh, at the end of a stage after you beat the boss and now we're going over to face the boss if you run out of time you will lose a life and we have uh, an old guy and a, and a big strong black guy that we have to kill 
and those guys will show up again and again and again during the rest of the game. And they won't even be bosses. They'll, uh, they'll just be, uh, they'll just show up midway through, and you'll have to waste, waste your time taking them down. Well, you don't have to waste your time. In fact, uh, ignore those guys. Go somewhere else and take out, uh, the fodder enemies that'll appear. You just want to bump that enemy meter down to nothing so you can face the boss at the level. So just take out the fodder enemies. You can uh, blow away the doors here in this hotel scenario with uh, grenades. I put on infinite energy at this point. I just wanted to uh, breeze through the levels. And here is uh, the bosses of this stage are uh, the black guy and this guy that leaps up throwing knives at ya. And uh, you can go to the elevators in this uh, hotel area. But yeah, the, uh, the family gangs are Enrico, Pietro, Salvatore, Orazio, and Tommaso. But yeah, this guy also, uh, also goes uh, elsewhere on the stage and you have to waste time looking around for him. Yeah, some of those paintings you can shoot and there will be a money bag that you can get from them. And there's the guy. I like how you see the bullet holes. Oops, ran out of time so I lost a life. I put on infinite lives I think here. Um, yeah, I like how you can see the bullet holes in your silhouette and, uh, and knives through your body. <laughs> like there. But yeah, you can shoot the knives in midair that he throws at you. You won't get a bonus for them. Just the grenades. Shot a lot of grenades on that level. Now we're in Kansas. And yeah, we'll uh, face the Tommaso family. And here we're at a uh, country uh, house. A house out in the country. And uh, I like the, uh, I like the uh, detail to uh, 30s era uh, gangster era US kind of cool and now we've got a uh, a uh, sub boss guy a guy that takes forever to bring down yeah ignore those guys they'll take way too long all you want to do is bump down that enemy meter so take down the uh, fodder enemies instead go somewhere else and there's a couple uh, guys that take forever to bring down very annoying. And again, when you, whenever you shoot, the crosshairs bump upwards. And sometimes uh, items that you want to shoot get stuck behind like a tree or a wall or something, and you can't shoot them. Very annoying. Well, this is the boss of this level. Try to hide behind, behind trees and stuff to avoid getting hit by you. And there I killed him. <laughs> I was just about to be blasted by that grenade. But I've got infinite energy, so it doesn't matter. And now we go to Chicago. And we're at the uh, Vincento uh, Estate. We'll, uh, we'll have two, uh, two stories that the enemies will uh, come out of. But yeah, if you see uh, boss characters that take forever to bring down, ignore them. Go away from them and go uh, go uh, take out fodder enemies to uh, bring down that enemy meter. Yeah, I, this game is frustrating. You'll often miss your target, even if you swear your uh, sights were right on them when you shot. And we got the uh, old guy and the uh, black guy to beat again. They show up just constantly through this game. Very annoying. Very, uh... Very dull.
And now we go into the, uh, the lobby of their uh, estate. Yeah, again, this was suggested by YouTube user AceRay24. And uh, I will take requests. And I'll try to uh, answer as many as I can as soon as I can. Hope you folks uh, enjoy the Super Bowl, or uh, even if you the teams you didn't want are in it, like me. Um, get yourself some good eats for the big game. I just bought a bunch of stuff, so uh, I'm uh, getting prepared for a pretty good sized feast. And we'll just scoot forward to me uh, beating this this last boss, and it's it's the old guy and the black guy again. And now we are in the boss's headquarters, and there's the boss right there, and he's seated at a desk. What you need to do, I guess, is kill all the enemies, and you need to shoot all all around him. And when you sh when you shoot him, it may not look like it's doing anything, but you'll see your points increase, and that means you are hitting him. And God damn it, I can't get that machine gun because the pillar's in the way. But um, when you shoot him enough, the screen will shatter like glass, and then you'll have to be careful. I'm not sure what, what good that does, <laughs> knocking down that chandelier. You have to be careful not to shoot that girl that's with him. If you do, your game will end. Um, and it doesn't show or die or anything, but you'll want to uh, kill him. He'll try to use the hostage as a shield. Just keep shooting the screen enough, and then it'll break. There we go. And now he's gonna like... Oops, I shot her. <laughs> but uh, he will grab hold of her, and she'll kind of wiggle a little bit, and then you know she'll she'll move, and she'll move back, she'll move, she'll move back. Just kind of gotta get a feel for it, and you have to hit him just right. And then you'll get the good ending, and we'll see the good ending right here. I'm using grenades to shatter the screen. There we go. Now, she wiggles one way, she wiggles back. And you have to sh shoot him just as she wiggles the first time. There. There, I shot him just right. Kind of a 30s hairstyle. Not all that attractive. <laughs> well, that was Dead Angle by Seibu Kaihatsu in 1988 and uh, distributed by Fabtech in the U.S. Uh, not, a, not a particularly good game. Very frustrating and you swear to God you hit your target and much of the time it doesn't seem to want to register. But that was suggested by YouTube user AceRay24. I have a big old list of requests I want to get to. And again, you get a lot of uh, initials to put in. I get to put in my full name. But uh, not my favorite first-person shooter, to be sure. <laughs> but that was... Dead Angle by Seibu Kaihatsu in 1988. And Seibu Kaihatsu was most famous for their Raiden series of shoot 'em ups. This is Crazy Clumber and he's saying thanks for watching Dead Angle. And I will catch you later in the future with another video. Y'all have a good one, everybody, and enjoy the Super Bowl. Bye, folks.